Josh Kinlan and Logan Urban in the welterweight division. Another short notice fight, uh, but it is the main event for Contender Series 2021 Week 2, and it'll probably be a banger. I mean, the original fight that was supposed to happen, Josh Kinlan and Darion Weeks, would have been a banger, but this one as well is going to be a banger. Logan Urban always goes out there looking for the finish. Uh, if you look at his wins, uh, five wins and one loss this year. There's Sekiro Naka win, first round submission, third round submission, Sekiro Naka win, first round Naka. So all finishes right there. Then you look at Josh Kinlan. Um, if, it, if it's going to load, five wins and zero losses, a third round submission, third round knockout, Sekiro Naka, first round submission, and first round Naka. Both fighters with every single win being a finish. But uh, for this fight, the main ways I see Logan Urban winning as he is coming in on short notice, he's gonna he's gonna need to get that knockout early. I, I'm not too sure how his cardio is gonna do. Fighting a guy that throws a lot of volume, puts on a lot of pressure like Josh Kinlan. Um so I'm 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 assuming if the fight does go to the second and third round, that's where Josh Kinlan is really going to take over because of that cardio disadvantage for Logan Urban, the volume and the pressure advantage for Josh Kinlan as well. Um, so Logan is, is going to need to go out there and win the fight in the first round. Um, Josh Kinlan is going to be going to be coming forward, put on that pressure, put on that volume, uh, and Logan Urban just needs to be that counterpuncher. Maybe if Josh Kinlan goes down for the takedown, knee right down the middle. We saw the last fight. I mean, it was absolutely insane with um, Antoine Blasigame. Not really the best opponent. Six wins, seven losses. That man went in for a, for a combination. Not too sure what combination he was trying to land. But he caught him with a knee right down the middle, knocked him out cold. But the man's knees are, are vicious, man. Even in the clinch, if this fight hits the clinch, I'm going to give Logan Urban the advantage because... Um, the knees of the body are absolutely devastating, and right when he pulls off, he always ends, like, right when, he, like, so he's in the clinch, he's landing the knees a little bit, maybe landing a little, a couple of body shots, right when they exit that little clinch situation, or his opponent's back to the cage, he'll always end it with one, two, maybe three shots, and then back away, um, and that could be a way to knock out Josh Kinlan as he's exiting the clinch, because Josh Kinlan, sometimes, I, I've seen tendencies of when he does leave the clinch, his hands are, are right down here, and he's looking to come forward and then just get right back in, in, in into his rhythm and get ready for the next combination but right when that clinch is separated his hands are a little bit low so i can see logan just landing those knees in the clinch exiting the clinch and then right then landing a left hook straight right big right right hook overhand some, some big shots and knocking out Josh Kinlan. That, that is definitely a possibility. That would be the main way I see him winning, which be, would be in the clinch with the knees to the body or as they're exiting with those big shots, getting a knockout in the first round. Um... But overall, I mean, he's taking the fight on short notice. I'm sorry to say that. Even if he was not taking the fight on short notice, Josh Kinlan just puts on really, really good pressure. He's very strong. Has probably is going to be pretty even wrestling to Logan Urban. Logan may like sometimes he likes to go out there just kind of get the clinch, land those knees, and then go down for the double leg takedown. But Josh Kinlan also has some pretty good wrestling and grappling. I don't see any of the wrestling or grappling happening for either fighter. This one is going to be a striking fight, and if it is, Josh Kinlan throws way more vol way more pressure and is probably going to get Logan Urban's back to the cage and do exactly what I just said Logan should probably do to Josh Kinlan get his back to the cage and throw big combinations and knock him out in the second round that is my prediction I'm going to go Josh Kinlan put it on that pressure um just survive in the first round because that is where Logan Urban for this fight is probably going to be most dangerous. And then in that second round, put it on that pressure, put it on that volume, and landing a big right hand or left hook. I have no idea what he's going to land, but I do think he's going to land a knockout in that second round. But a very, very good fight in the welterweight division.